Hey everyone, it's Eva Mega Jono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. Last time we got to Route 113. And in this episode, we will hopefully get to Falaba Town and do some stuff after that too. Yeah. Screw you, Spinder. Alright, so this is Route 113, the Route of the Ashes, which is where like this is like all the ash and crap from Mount Chimney. So it's like a... This is sort of the first time you've sort of seen this in any Pokemon games because this is releasing... Well, besides Ruby Sapphire, this is the sort of, like, first thing that you would see in a Pokemon game. Like, can't escape what? What is this? Ah. Uh, a what? What? Ah, uh, no more, I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, anyway. Um, yes, Ruby Sapphire introduced that, that you didn't really see weather effects prior to that. Um, so, I, I wouldn't call this a weather effect, but it's an effect that Generation 3 introduced. Um, and it's pretty cool because, like, when you walk through the grass, you can create, like, mad patterns and stuff. Because when you walk through, the grass returns to green. All that sort of stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Not that I spend my time doing that or anything. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay, now, yeah, we ended up killing this slogma here because... Who cares? We get experience. Ah. Uh. Righto, so, continuing our way. I really gotta get some repels because this is annoying. And they're nothing but slugmas, and it's slugma sucks. If it was something decent skarmory, that'll be good. Thank you. Thank you! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, stupid person. Alright. Ah. Uh, not a slugma. Why are you so crap, slugma? Seriously. You are annoying. Thank you for letting us run away. At least. Alright. Go around you. I don't think you're a trainer anyway, but who cares? Alright, now I don't know what way she's facing. And... You don't- you weren't even facing it! Ah. Uh, Fine, we'll battle you. It's one of these little ninja kids. Ninja boy Leo. What sort of a name is Leo? Anyway, um, we have a coughing here, so what's the name? Now, this kid will have three coughings, which is quite pathetic. Um, I did explain last episode that coughing has no special defense, so you don't really need to worry about that. Uh, but it does have a good defense though, so don't use physical attacks on it. Curly is perfect for the job because, you know, we're using confusion and that's a special attack and it's super effective as well. So coughing, you fail for this part. Yay! You're dying! Yay! Alright, last up to another coughing. Um... Uh, this is... Uh, what a ridiculous battle. I mean, if you have, uh, like, physical attackers in the team, it's going to be pretty difficult, but luckily, it's good to have a diverse mix of of, uh, what's it called? Physical and special attacks. Anyway, Curly tried to learn Calm Mind right here. I took over Growl because it's a much better move. Calm Mind will raise your special attack and special defense by one stage, which is pretty good. It's a handy move. Alright, now we'll avoid him. Ah! Uh, Spinder, okay. Hmm, I wonder what's for dinner. Okay. Once we get- YES! No! <laughs> what? Ah. And that kid just explained everything that like, explained it earlier. Uh. Uh, um, yeah, it's not a good idea having Curlier out there because, you know, it's it's psychic type and it's not going to do anything to Aron being a past still type. So we'll overkill it with mud shot. Ah, ah you're dead now. That's a critical hit too. Ah, oh, jeez, that's pure rapage right there. Yay, youngster Dylan's been defeated. You suck. All right. Oh, what the hell? Okay, let's get around this. Yes, take that. Let's get to the Pokemon Center. Anyway, after healing up at the Pokemon Center, this is for Lava Town. We'll take a short look around. Um, in this house here, I don't think there's anything important. 
No. Okay, um... Now, out this way is Route 114. Now, I don't think he's a trainer either. He just explains about crap. Alright, Route 114. There is a few significant things out here, including... This, yes. What? Anyway, um, yes. Okay, we have a battle here. Now, the trainers are slightly strong on this route. Yes, the level 18 Meryl. Um, I've already explained this. Meryl's a water type Pokemon. Not going to be good for Nummel. Um, I think after this battle, I'm going to do some grinding, which actually would make sense because, you know, that's pretty on the level, level 15, and we're going for our fourth badge within the next two or three episodes, and that's not good. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sludge. Now, um, Gulpin is going to be a, like, quite handy for us for the next few, two or three gym battles because Gulpin's pretty bulky and he's got a pretty good attack on him as well and hopefully he'll learn Sludge Bomb soon. Plus he evolves at another couple of levels too, which is actually also quite good. Okay, next up is Lombre. Lombre is a uh, water grass type Pokemon. Not that good. Well, it's good. It's good, but it's not going to be good against Gulpin. That's what I'm supposed to say. Okay, I'm going to go do some grinding now. So, yes. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side of that. See you guys. Real quick here. I got to the Pokemon Center and realized a little net standing here. Whatever her name is. Oh, hello. You are. Okay, your name's Jono. I can see that you're a trainer. So that means you use the Pokemon story system I developed. How I arri arrived at that conclusion is a simple deductive process. You spoke to me because you wanted to access something on this PC. Nah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Lynette. Honestly, I'm glad to meet you. It's great you're using the story system. If you could, please visit me at home. My house is on Route 114. Okay, so after I've done that, I will go and visit her. Ha 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 Anyway, there are some new Pokemon that appear on Route 114, that being Swablu. Swablu is a pretty good Pokemon. It evolves into Altaria in level 35, which becomes a Dragon-type Pokemon. Um, it's got a high appearance rate. It's actually not too bad. Uh, however, I don't know. I mean, it's better than Talo and, and Swellow. I mean, if you haven't got a Flying-type Pokemon yet, definitely pick one of these up because they learn some pretty good moves. Plus, Dragon Flying, I mean, it's times for weak to Ice, but who really cares when you've got a decent Pokemon like that? It, it's pretty good. It's, it's handy. Next up in this route is Surviper. Um, Surviper is a fantastic Pokemon. It's a poison type. Um, uh, people c confuse this thing from evolving from uh, Arbok. It doesn't evolve from Arbok. Don't be stupid. Um, it's 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 pretty good. It, the only problem is its low appearance rate, but it's it's good. I would recommend it if you manage to find it. Yes, pick up Surviper. It's a good Pokemon. Um, I'm not going to go through their bios, but other Pokemon that appear in this route are Lombre, and uh, yeah, Lombre is the evolved form of. Lotad, nothing new there. Um, Nuzleaf, the evolved form of, um, what's his name, of, of C Dot. He picks up a dark type sub, dark type subtype, which is pretty good. And uh, Zangoose, which is only, a, which only appears in Ruby version, so I didn't bother even doing the bio for that. Anyway, after doing some grinding, yeah, we can go out here. Um, I just want to quickly come in here. Um, if you talk to this little girl here, she'll give you TM28 dig. Uh, but but besides that, if you come up here, there's a little bit of information you can pick up from a man here. He will tell you this. I'm the fossil maniac. It's, I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around here, these parts all belong to me. None for you. If you can't bear to go without a fossil, look in the desert where there are boulders and sand that may hide fossils. So, um, Route 111, the desert there actually hides fossils underneath some boulders. So if you click on the boulders, you can actually find fossils from time to time. Which is pretty good. Anyway, um... Now, we'll continue on this way since Lynette said to come visit her at her house, which is just over here. And unfortunately, we can't go over the ledge there to find it, which is a problem. Anyway, who really cares? We have a wire Pokemon. Oh, it's a Swablu. I've already explained this thing. Um, yes, yeah, so we're not going to catch Swablu. We don't really need a flying type Pokemon. It's unnecessary. Got away safely. Yeah. Okay. Lynette's house. Oh, Jono, I'm sorry everything is so cluttered when I got getting grossly in research. Things end up this way. This is embarrassing. Please keep this as, as a secret. Um, she gives us Lotad doll. I don't know what, why we... Who are we going to tell? I mean, really. Oh, we'll go home to Mum. Lynette's house is a mess. Don't go visit Lynette. Anyway. Why did I just not go around them? Anyway, who cares? Oh, look, it's Lombre. No. <laughs> Ah, 
Alright. Sorry about that small interruption there, just got caught up doing something. Okay. Ah. Oh. Oh, another swab blue, wonderful. Um Out this way is Meteor Falls, and that's when the plot really starts kicking in up here because think yeah, as I said last episode, things actually start to get interesting. Um, this pretty much is where the storyline of Pokemon Emerald starts. Oh, wonderful. We have a double battle right here. <laughs> uh, if you're prepared, you shouldn't be up in the mountains. Have you made your Pokemon evolve very much? Well, not much yet, but they will soon. Hey, guess what, everyone? You do not have any more ridiculous time limit anymore, so we can go beyond 11 minutes. Ready? 11 minutes. Yeah! Screw you, YouTube. All right. So right here we have the long range J dude. Let's get rid of these things nice and quickly. Yeah. This is awesome, you know, recording beyond the 11 minutes. This is just epic. Okay, say that J dude and die. Right. Oh crap, I forgot it's not very effective against grass type Pokemon. Anyway, um. Not that it matters hitting my Curly because Curly is awesome. Next up is another Nummel. What do I mean another? another. It's a Nummel. Well, I probably said another because I have my Nummel out there as well. But whatever. Okay. Ember, Lombre, and we'll confuse Nummel. Holy. Whoa. Actually, I wasn't, ex I wasn't expecting it to do that much. Ah. Uh. Oh, what? Oh, well, Absorb's a crap move, so... Yes. Why are you... Uh, yeah, great. That's so smart, you know. I applaud you. Actually, we'll go for a Calm Mind because I want to finish this off quickly and it's going to take less confusions if we do this now. That to make sense, doesn't it? So take that Lombre. Um, it's now using Absorb on normal. It's not making much of a difference because it's still a crap move. This thing has not done anything except use Growl. Why? Why? Uh, Ember and Confusion. Yeah! Alright. Come on, come on, come on. I want to do more. I want to at least get to Meteor Falls. That'll be wonderful. Alright. Last up some Meryl. This thing, well, this thing should go down in one hit from Confusion. That would be fantastic. Uh. Yeah, no, what? Anyway, who cares? Ember killed it, and that is the end of that double battle. With no time limit, screw you. What am I saying screw you for? Good on you, YouTube. You're making the time limit longer. Okay. Right. Ah, <laughs> idiot, he's not even facing us. Alright, so this is Meteor Falls. Rossboro 3D, Rossboro City through here. Right. So, this is where it starts to get interesting. And we're unfortunately going to cut it off here. Longest video ever. So next time in Pokemon... Well, that's on my channel anyway. So next time in Pokemon Emerald, we're going to see what these uh, Magma Grunts are doing with that guy there. Ha ha ha. Right, so, yes, see you guys then.